Hi there, and thanks for watching! Whether you're writing a school paper, a scientific report, or a weather forecast, you'll occasionally need to insert the degree symbol into a Word document. It's super easy to do, let me show you how. Here I have a simple Word document of today's forecast, and for temperature, I've spelled out degrees, but a lot of times you want to use the symbol instead, just so things are less wordy. To do that, just place your mouse here right after the number, the 78 in our case, come up to Insert, and then way over here on the far right, you want Symbol. This initial drop-down will display recently used symbols. I was playing around and I have some here that will work, but I'm guessing yours doesn't look the same as mine, so let's come into More Symbols. And once again, because I recently used this, it just happens to have Degree selected here, and you'll notice the name down here, Degree Sign, so you know that you're on the right thing. But if you hadn't used it recently, you could just come up here to the top and kind of scroll through to see what looks right. Find a symbol that looks like degree, so this one happens to be it. But maybe you were down here a little bit farther and you saw something like that. You'll see that's actually called ring above. And in some cases, people might not notice. You could probably use that as well. But make sure that you're choosing the correct one for degree. If you look up here under subset, this one actually lives under Latin 1 supplement. So for the future, that might be an easier way to find it. Just come to this subset, and that'll drop you down to this area of the screen where you can easily find it. Once you have it selected, just hit Insert, and then Close. And that's inserted it into the document here. I'll get rid of our text. And this you can work with just like any other character. You could change the color, for example. You could highlight it. You could increase the font size, and so on. You just have to get it into the document first, and then work with it just like you would everything else. And that's it! Super easy! Thanks so much for watching! If you found this helpful, be sure to check out my other videos and hit that subscribe button so you're notified of new uploads.